Malo le le, malo ita te mau ke pong pong ni kau ni ha pong pong faka fo ofa. Ko kui ngoa ko koni le ti hau. Ko toke mo fe fi ha ko mo foi one and only ni. Mo foi one and only ni te fa le le poka ma. Now that you know you're watching Fresh, coming up on the show today. We've called upon Mr. Lava Lava winner 1965, the one, the only Mr. Robbie Mangasiba. But now, rounding around with two of my favorite things for my bed and my universe. One thing that makes me happy inside my home is my family. The thing that embarrasses me is my dad just hanging his undies out on the veranda. <laughs> Probably one of the hardest pieces of theatre I've ever had to do. It's real physical and trying to capture all these different moments in people's lives. It's a beautiful play because you never know the things that people are going to connect to and it's always different for different people. She says I stunt this for a reason. Oh yeah! Woo. Oh God, he called him and he wanted him to go to heaven. Oh yeah, hallelujah! <laughs> and I was like, what? But we just wanted, but we were just praying that he wouldn't die and everything at that point. I'm like, oh, no, I can't think like that. Gary Henderson, who had um, put it all together, had gone around to different members of Massive Theatre Company, taken these stories, put them all together to make the show. One thing I remember fondly is my sister teaching me how to shave my legs. <laughs> the way that Massive works is we always stay from the real, so we, we use real stories from real people. They took seven days to find you. Just jumped into the ocean. That is the thing about our work, is audiences come and they hear their own voice. Shopping, shopping. Yeah, um, yeah, um. If you're from the North Shore, you get a really bad rip. Sure girl, sure thing. Yeah, um, sure girl, um, sure thing. Just Pacific Islanders or just brownies in general, we're loud, you know, and we, we, we love to laugh. And in terms of like crying, we're, we're just super passionate people, and it's cool because you'll see that on stage. 15 minutes after I got their tits, I picked up a machete and a wrench handle, texted my cousin, hey, come pick me up, take me to this guy's house. Trying to get yourself in that mindset of being able to snap like that. Pretty, uh, it's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's quite scary. The city drops, my hands lock, get on the ground! It was actually quite interesting, like, it took us on a journey, like, like emotionally. It made you, make, it made you think about other things that happens around you, not just, just you. I love the day, the, all the instruments, the music. It's really intense, the emotional part. you got to, like, think about it figure out and use your imagination. I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Is my husband cheating on me? Will I marry my future wife in the next two years? Will I win the lotto this weekend? Hi, I'm Fortune Teller. So hi, Chelsea. Hi, hi. Hello. Well, I'm so happy to have you guys here because uh, you guys are on my favorite radio. Mm. I always listen to Flavor, and especially your program in the weekends at night time always keeps me awake. <laughs> I'm, on, yeah. I'm, on, I'm on breakfast. Mm. I'm on the afternoon. No, drive. I have breakfast starting from night time oh, oh, yeah. okay. while I'm driving. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why did you come here to see me today? You go first. Well. I've asked everybody this question and no one can yeah. actually give me an answer, so they directed me to you, Auntie. Okay. And I just want to know, will I ever play in the NRL? Uh, yeah, well, I'm the right person for you to mm. come and talk to. I really believe the spirits can help us to find your, okay. your miracle. And what about for you, Johnson? Well, um, <clears throat> I always get um, 
hassled a lot, you know, our relationship issues. And I know you're, you're, you know, I know you're the queen at giving oh, us God. relationship issues. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, you've had a lot in your time. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I just want you to tell me when my future wife will come and okay. and who it might be and oh, how many kids no. we're gonna have and just anything relationship wise. Wow, you're not asking for my child. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you haven't no. even paid anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Now what we're going to do is a spiritual is. It's Jasin, Johnson. Okay, the spirits are telling me we're gonna use the cards, the tarot cards, because it can really help us. <laughs> anyway, these cards are telling me for you, Josh, for you, Josh, mm -hmm. Josh. Yes. That's your card. What it means is, Jane, you will miss the tune. You, you, will, you will not play in the NRL. But, but the card, oh, ho, 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 the card is telling me you should go for the WWE. Oh, you should go WWE. Okay. Okay, and That's go cool. and watch them. Oh, oh. yes. Yeah. Okay, now this one is for Johnson. Johnson. Oh, perfect. This card is telling me that you will, you will marry a queen. Yeah. A queen. Oh no, you will meet your girl on Queen Street. <laughs> That's what it means. You will meet your girlfriend, who's going to be your future wife on Queen Street. The next one, two, you will have two children. Cool. Yeah. One in February and another one in May. Wow. Okay, yeah. Like you. in the same year or? Oh, you oh, that's fast. Impossible. You fast. You can have two children, but maybe not with the one queen. Okay. <laughs> and the next one, there. You are going to be a successful, funny guy. You're going to be a real chowga. I wish. And for you, mm. you going to NRL is nothing but a child. Oh. <laughs> okay? So that is your future. Thanks. Yep. I would like to tell you more, but once again, you haven't paid. Okay? <laughs> I really believe that I've helped Tasha and Johnson out. As much as I love them and love Flavor FM, I really know that I'm sorry, Tasha, you're not going to play in the NBA, but for Johnson, that's the answer. If you want to find yourself a queen, Go to a beer way. <laughs> you know what I love about Auntie Tala? Her long blonde hair, oh my God. Her lips, the thing under her lips down here, it's so sexy. That big smile always get me the thrills. Always get my hopes up sometimes. Her big arms too, oh my gosh. We're coming up to winter, imagine cuddling that. Hmm. Come back on the break and you can see some of my world. Welcome back to Fresh. My name is Conan Howell. Here's a little bit of my world. Come check it out. Let's go. Yeah, it was funny that um, playing game back home in Tonga, um, the scouts from, from Grandma, they came over to watch a different guy. So they wanted him to come to Ogun Grandma and then they ended up um, picking me. They told me two weeks that I had to be here in New Zealand. So I was kind of shocked. Grew up in a family with, with nothing, but just love and joy. Obviously, this is my first time away from Tonga, and especially for my mom as well. First few months I was here in New Zealand, I was, I was just crying, but luckily my dad was here. He made sure that everything would be good, then he flew back home. But at the, at the start, it was just hard. It's a big change for me, but as, as a young kid, I was just always dreaming about coming to New Zealand and hopefully play professional here. Straight over the top of one, still going! It's tired speaking with all the time here, so just to improve, even though it didn't yeah, make sense sometimes. It's a lot, man. It was alright with me, I didn't care when they mocked me. <laughs> Where are Money, money. No money, no money. money. Where's your lunch? You always eat at my house. <laughs> you money. Where's your lunch? Let me no see. Lunch. No lunch? No lunch. Ah, eat some food, man. Look I at you. I always <laughs> give you lunch when you're a king. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> okay. You're my other son. <laughs> Sometimes I always say that I'm sick and come in here and then have a little sleep here with the, the nurse. This is where I spend my most of the day here in school, the touch shop. 
Um, there's this lady who used to work here. Oh, I won't say her name, but she might get fired. But she always get me some like heaps of extra food. I'll, I'll give her like 50 cents, and she'll double everything just because she knew that I'm from Tonga. I reckon my English got better when I came here to this school and. I'll go to uni, hopefully soon, just for, for after foodies. Is that a, like a lawyer or be a pilot? Yeah. Am <laughs> right, bro? I do it for the I'm gonna run in, just forget about the, the game, forget about the fans and everyone watching. It's just for like a good five seconds or ten seconds, you know, mom and then the family, my brothers and sisters and my dad as well. That's where my motivation starts and when I'm happy, that's when I'm, when I'm paid work. Ask mom, what, to, what do you want, want, want from me? And then mom just told me she wanted to kids for me if I scored a try. That was on Mother's Day before. Eventually on that game, I scored two tries. Yeah, just one game against Broncos last year, I had that runaway try and I got scored a try and I was really tired and the camera went away from me when I blow my kiss. And then when I got home, the first thing, I, I called my mom and the first thing she said, where's my blow kiss? I said, Mom, we won the game. Do you need to say congrats? And she's like, no, where's my blow kiss? <laughs> I said, I did it. You didn't see it? And she's like, yes, I didn't saw the blow kiss. So I went and looked it up. I uh, got a photo of me blowing the kiss and then sent it to Mom. And she's like, oh, you're lucky. <laughs> she, she told me, don't ever change for whatever, for whatever money or wherever I am. Don't ever change. I love to have, have a laugh and have a smile. It's just one thing on my page. I like to... People, if people look at it to just get a big smile on, the, on their face. And um, the feedback I've got is, is only from the from the boys and the team. They always give me the hard yards, but other people they they, they always crack me up. So yeah, so, this is sweet. So <laughs> genie. Uh, hopefully next time I sing, I sing I'll sing for a better voice. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's just do the music. <laughs> if someone teaches you for your English, don't you dare worry. Just give them a laugh. Yeah, tell them, if you can't speak any more than two languages, then sip it. Because you can speak Tongan, or Samoan, or Fijian, and English too. He'll be sweet. Look at that fine specimen. Oh. Oh. What do you want me to do? You're washing? He's done it. Well done. One thousand three hundred, five thousand nine hundred. Welcome back to Fresh. I'm here in the New Zealand Warriors gym. Just lifting some weights. Five thousand kilos in the, in the bar here. Now we're moving on to Mr. Lava Lava. I'm pretty disappointed. Why didn't we come to Tonga? Tonga, we the, we the best to have their show over there. You see, because we don't get the swagger. Oh, we don't get used to the camera. <laughs> oh, you don't want to see Mandana? <laughs> We've been all over the Pacific searching for the ultimate island guy, our Mr. Laver Laver. We found our Cook Island and Samoa winners, and now we are in New Sealar. Choo-hoo! We have selected six warriors to put to the test to see if they have what it takes to be Mr. Laver Laver. Previously on the search for Mr. Lava Lava. And your bananas need to stand out from the others' bananas. And the warrior going home today is Lewis. Hi, warriors. Hey. This one is going to be a goodie. It is so good that we need some help. So we've called upon Mr. Lava Lava, winner 1965, the one, the only, Mr. Robbie. <laughs> the reason why we have a guest judge here today is to give you guys an example on our next challenge, which is how to woo a woman's heart. Like the greatest love story of all time, Romeo and Juliet, how Romeo captured the heart of Juliet despite the warring families. Today is that challenge for you guys to try and win the heart of Juliet. Of Juliet. Mm -hmm. Played by my sister Barnes. Am I Romeo? You are totally Romeo, Robbie. Oh, 
it Juliet. It's Romeo. What do you want? I've come to see my son rise. We can't talk because my parents don't like your family. But love is so strong, Bunny, between you and me. My father's stronger than love. I know, but we're not talking about your father here. Let's talk about you and me, Bunny. Romeo and Bunny, up a tree. K I. No. C C. K F C C I N G. Bunny. Yes. I must hurry because your family's just having dinner in there. Would you like to go for an ice cream? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay. Come downstairs. I'll see you in a second. Okay. Okay, Pani. Okay, yeah. Beautiful Pani. Yeah, fat. Oh, Pani, Pani, Pani. What? $320, I ran out of petrol. I got it. Okay, love you. So there you are, gentlemen. It's a hard task. Very hard task. That woman up there is the hardest woman you will ever encounter in your love life. Are you ready? Yes. 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 What is this, 300? No, once more, are you ready? Yes! You are ready. Good luck, gentlemen. So, first up is Carlos. Oh, here he is now. Look at that fine specimen. Pardon? Who's that? It's me, Romeo. What do you want? I came to tell you. Yes? Yeah? That Auntie Fakika has just got a job at KFC. She? So what does that mean? I guess we can get some free dinner. I can't, because my family can't stay in your family. I but bought you a flower for good luck. What kind of flower is that? There's no flower. It's a good luck flower. It sucks. Look. Funny. Yes. Take this shirt. What is it? What do you want me to do? You're washing? It's no. What? It's it's invisible. You can get through. I'm not gonna fit this. Quickly, I can see your sister. Oh, wow, your sister. Oh, you want to see my sister? Oh, yeah. no, no. Yeah, no. Pani. What? Chicken. Chicken? Gravy. What about you? Italian gravy, coleslaw. Yes. All for hurry. Move over there, because I can't see you. No, over this side. Yeah, keep talking. Turn around. Can you just bend down and pick that up for me? Over there, the rope. Oh, OK, thank you. OK, it's a deal. What's my name? He's oh. done it. Well done. Well done, Carlos. Well done. Oh. Our next contest is Patrick from the Rotuman Island. Here he comes now. Oh, oh, oh he's not mucking around today, is he? Oh, he's in a pretend like... horsey. Yep, did he do? Excuse me. Um, yeah. Come down from thy chamber and kiss thy handsome man. Oh, I yeah. even come with gifts and you... Oreos. You come with Oreos? Yes, Oreos, the chocolate kind. I even have milk for your dipping. You have milk for my dipping? Yes, and dessert after. But I can't because my family are here and they don't like your family. Love is stronger than war. And fun, if breeding were time, you would be eternity. Oh, I like that one. Come down, my lady. I shall, your handsomeness. Yes, OK. Well done. Our next contestant is our next contestant. Dawa. Here he is. Oh, here. here he comes. Oh, Dawa is swimming. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's getting out of the water, taking his T-shirt off. So I believe he was swimming with his T-shirt now. Here we go. Palia. It's me, Romeo. Who? Romeo. What do you want? I've got two tickets to see your favourite bands on an island. You came from your island to my island and you've got two tickets to take me to another island to see my favourite band. I've set everything up. There's a fire there. There's a fire where? On the island where the band is playing. There's a fire where the band is playing and you want me to go to that fire? You want me to go to hell? Okay, you know what? You like five stars? I like five stars. You like Sipso? I love Sipso. You like Mr. T? I love... Who? Mr. T. I love Mr. T from A-Team? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I like the sound of that. Yeah, but I'll see you downstairs. Please put your hands together for Corinthian. Here he is. Whoa, something hit him on. Oh, what's this? He looks like he's travelled from a far distance. Please, I'm calling the police. Well, I've got a prowler here. Ah, uh, ma'am, pass the phone, please. There's someone down there. Stand up. What are you 
doing? Caribbean, can you do it? Oh, you know my name. It's me, Rob. Oh, you, Carmel. What's the matter? Do you want me to call Annie? I think my dad's looking for me. I just jumped out the window. Oh. What do you want? Just send me a text. Please come, please. I want to take you to the moon. I want to grab your eyes from those stars. Please come down. Come down now. Oh no, I'm scared. Please. What for? Please. No, you have to convince me. Why? Please, I'll take you to McDonald's and we can have a Mac attack. McDonald's. You're going to have to do better than that, dear. It's where will you take me? Thank Caribbean. Original. I'll take you to the dairy. To the where? To the dairy? I'll take you to the dairy. Oh, here or no? No, no. I'll take you to the flash dairy. So a we, flash dairy? So we can see my uncle double jump. I, OK, you know what? <laughs> Just come with me. We can go for a walk on the beach. You're on the right track. It's very good. I can show you my love. OK, you know what? I'm going to say yes. You know the drill. One person will win the challenge and one will be eliminated. Whoever wins this next challenge will not receive immunity as the next challenge is the very last one for the New Zealand leg. The winner of this challenge is Patrick. Well Just a relief, you know, and dust off my shoulders. Yeah, it was really good uh, to, hear, to, hear, to hear my name. And sadly, there has to be a loser. Not a loser, just someone that didn't quite achieve the brief. There were no losers. Okay, we're going PC with that. Yeah, we right. are going PC. But the person that we're sending home today is Corinthian. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm really gutted that I'm eliminated from this cop because it was a good experience for the boys that are in the cop. Good luck. I hope you guys go hard, you know, rep your country. Bye, Corinthian. Uh... Please don't sing, he's already been through enough. All I'm saying, why didn't Mr. Lava Lava come to Tonga? It would be a lot of fun playing with ropes, climbing up with ropes, everything fun with ropes. Yeah, coming up on Fest next week. Because this competition is called Mr. Lava Lava, it only makes sense that they know how to tie. A lava lava. So that is your next challenge. And remember their models, not Christmas trees. Make sure that everything matches. Ah, not Clash of the Titans. Ah. Thanks for joining me with Farm TV Fresh. It's been great to be in Melbourne there. But well, now I want to leave you with a little song, a little slow jam just for the girls and some of you lovers out there. Who I will I do without your smart mouth? Drawing me in and kicking me out. I am saying goodbye to you. I am still single and really single. I'll be your wife.